welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Catherine and in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I made these three beautiful boho chic wall decor that cost me $2 to make each and only used um, three items from the dollar store. So let's get to it. So you'll need three placemats that you can get at the dollar store and a flat white primer. Go ahead and spray paint each placemat for three coats and I recommend that you guys do them all at the same time. Next grab some twine that I also got from the dollar store and we are going to cut them in six inch pieces and you will need 21 of those to make it around the circle. So next we're gonna need some hot glue and go ahead trace a triangle about one and a half inch wide and put the twine on it and repeat this pattern all around. If one piece is thinner than the other ones, you can just roll it between your fingers and it will make it a little thicker. So at the end, I kind of eyeballed it. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end when you put everything together, it just blends in perfectly. And now I'm cutting the inside little triangles that are gonna be a smaller. So each piece is four inches. And again, I cut 21 of those. And to finish this piece, we're just gonna trim the ends And now we are at the second project. We're gonna grab the second placemat, more twine, and we're gonna cut a piece that goes across. And we're gonna use tape to secure that on the table or any place you would like. And we're gonna use this rope that I got from the dollar store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untwist them. So it's three strings. And I cut them at about a foot to a foot and a half, but you decide the length you want. I should have cut them a little shorter because I ended up cutting a lot at the end anyway. And now we're gonna split each string in four so you first split them in half and after that each half you split them again in half so it makes four strings And now we're going to attach the rope to the string. So fold the rope in half and pass the top of the rope under the string. Make a loop, pass the bottom strings inside the loop and then pull to make it tight and slide it to its right place. Then do that for all the strings. Using a comb, just brush the rope. Um, that takes a little bit of time, so I was watching my show while I was doing that. I recommend that you guys do the same thing. It took me about, I would say, 30 minutes to brush the whole thing. I'm using a wood board. 
under the strings because I'm about to cut it to the length that I want. So just brush it to make sure it's all even. Put tape at the top to stabilize it and then put another piece of tape where you want to cut it. Now you'll need to cut the placemat in half and using hot glue, glue the strings to the bottom half. Here you see that I made the mistake of not spray painting my placemat before. I forgot, so I ended up spray painting around afterwards. So if you guys follow my advice, just spray paint all the placemats at the same time. So here I'm just untying the rope and I'm gonna untwist all the strings again like the previous project and that's gonna make you four little strings. You will be using all of it. I ended up cutting smaller pieces so it's easier to twist around. So using hot glue, you're gonna start from the middle and you're gonna twist your way all around the placemat. Be careful not to leave any space in between. Here you see that I ran out of twine and I still had some mat to cover. If you guys follow my advice, you won't have to do the next step I'm about to do. So I'm just gonna cover with paper towel, tape it and then spray painting it white. To finish the project, just grab the remaining half mat that you had from the previous project and hot glue it under your circle. And that is it for today guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video.